Hey man, sorry, I think I really need to go shopping. But hey, right. we can go another time. Yeah, next time maybe. Yeah, see ya. See ya I'm now on my way to the supermarket and with me today is my friend, my Japanese friend, Takato. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing Takato? Uh, I'm pretty good. How are you yeah. doing man? Well, <laughs> I'm doing alright. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, we need to go shopping. My fridge is empty. Yeah, yeah and it's a bit annoying, but the super next supermarket is a bit far away. <laughs> it's, it's like nearly 50 minutes of walking, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that, that's a bit of a bummer, but anyways, let's go there. Alright. Yeah, man. So, how are your how are your studies? Ah, uh, it's not too bad, but <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to say anything about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I see. I, I'm not gonna ask anymore. Yeah, yeah. But I, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell is this? Organs. Organ sheep. Organ sheep temple. That's cool. I've never been here. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? Just, just. Look at that, a bamboo, a bamboo forest. Wow. You haven't seen it? No. I have not seen something like this before. It's very common in Japan. <laughs> I don't feel anything about it. <laughs> Seriously, look at this bamboo. So the cutter, you know, I think it's super cool that in Japan yep. you have these amazing shrines. Basically everywhere, these are quite common, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, that's true. And that's something that is really special about Japan. Or is it? For us Europeans, it's really, really weird that these kind of shrines are everywhere because for us this is very special. But <laughs> actually, that isn't something special at all. And do you know why? Because in the Western cultures, you also have something very, very similar to shrines everywhere, mm -hmm. at every corner. What do you think is it? <laughs> it's too difficult. It's quite easy actually. <laughs> it's quite easy actually. It is churches. You know, in Western culture, we have churches everywhere because that's where our culture originates from. While in Japanese culture, temples and shrines are at every corner. And thus, this isn't actually something that is specific to Japanese culture, having a shrine mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Because a shrine is actually the exact equivalent to a church. Mm -hmm. This is just something that we do because we're human. And the culture is just how, how, we, do, how we do the things on top of that. After a short diversion at the temple, we finally reach the supermarket Max Value. Uh, no? Max Value? So, I have this great idea, I'm gonna name this channel Red Value. It's not Red Value anymore. Up, you're watching Red Value, going to Max Value. Let's do this. This building contained multiple shops, including a supermarket. First, I needed to buy some snacks. Oh, Katzeschmorf. Oh, Katzeschmorf. Oh, Katzeschmorf. Oh, Katzeschmorf. Oh my god, bacon, 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 bacon! Okay, just kidding, I don't need that much bacon. In Japan, fruit is insanely expensive. An apple can cost you a dollar, and that's a cheap one. Yeah, whenever I go fruit shopping, I tend to take out a loan at the bank. There is one fruit in Japan though that is surprisingly affordable. Bananas. One really awesome thing that you can buy in Japanese supermarkets are bentos. These are a full meal. Meat, vegetables and rice packed in a nice convenient package. I always pick one up when I go to the supermarket because they're just so convenient. 
Japan's tiny landmass makes land prices go up real high, and stores need to be able to adapt to that to still be able to make a profit. So, sometimes multiple shops share a single floor space, such as here, where a cosmetic store is literally right next to a 100 yen store and a pen and paper store. Three stores standing shoulder to shoulder, so how do you organize that? Two tricks are used. First, each store has a differently colored basket. And second, a small label is usually attached to the barcode of bought items in Japan. This acts as a proof that you bought the item at one of the stores and didn't steal it from another one. Done with the shopping, it was time to head back home. Ricardo, thank you so much for coming shopping with me today. Yeah, that was great. No and I was really fascinated that we went to the um, shrine and you know, it's quite interesting how we're so different in terms of what things we do, but the underlying structure, mm -hmm. why we do it, that's the same. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's like the same concept, churches, shrines and, you know, castles, European castles are completely normal for me. Well, mm -hmm. you know, Japanese castles are like super amazing. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. By the way, yeah. have you ever been to Nagut Castle? No, I actually haven't. I have oh. missed that out yet. Why? Why don't you go um, there? Didn't have time yet, quite frankly. Oh. Uh, you need to go over there, because so, mm -hmm. it's free to enter Nago Castle today. Is it? Yeah. Is it free today? Yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, that's actually great. I actually have some time right now. Well, Nagoya Castle certainly is a worthwhile way to spend my time this afternoon, especially since it's free. But I already promised Matthias that I'd go shopping with him for Halloween. A really difficult decision. So, what will you choose? 